Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number four in my MySQL series. And in this video, I just wanna show you guys a few more things that you can add to your queries that'll add a little bit more extra power uh, when it comes to running your query. So uh, go over to your query runner place thing and let's type in the following query. Let's select everything from our users table. So type in users over here. And we already know that if I run this query, it's going to select everything from our users table, but I just wanna run this query so we can see the results, right? And uh, one thing you'll notice is that there are 15 values within this table at the moment. Uh, so that's because I only put 15 values in here uh, or 15 entries. But uh, uh, one thing we might wanna do is set a limit to how many results we receive. Because let's say this table was extremely, extremely full and there were like 2000 entries or 2000 users in our database, it is going to take a really long time for our query to fetch 2000 people. Uh, so basically uh, that query time uh, is going to be pushed up a little bit. Uh, so instead of selecting 2000 people, let's come back here and learn how to set a limit. So setting a limit is as simple as typing the word limit and then setting a value for that limit. So if I set the limit through to, or if I set the limit to 10 um, and click go, that is going to select only 10 results. So now we're missing results 11 through to 15. Um, but obviously it does shorten the time of our query, especially if this is a long or a really big database, especially if there were like 2000 users. Um, setting a limit just helps keep that query time down, right? So uh, now that we've learned about limit, uh, something else I want to show you guys is something called offset. Um, but let's play around with this limit a little bit. So I wanna bring that down to five. Um, and that is essentially going to select the first five users. Um, and yeah, you guys probably already knew that, but yeah, just play around with uh, limiting uh, options. But the reason why I set the limit to five is because I want to now set an offset value in here. And an offset value is nice for pagination. In fact, limiting and offsets go really well with pagination because let's say you wanted to only show the user five results and then give them a second page where they could see the next five results. Obviously, uh, the first five results, are, it's okay to just select everything from users and limit by five and that selects the first five results. But for page two, when you wanna show the next five results, you need to set an offset and you need to set that offset equal to uh, whatever has already been shown to the user. So uh, in this case right now, I'm just gonna set an offset of zero and uh, setting an offset of zero is exactly the same as just running that query, right? Uh, just running a query that selects everything and limits it by five. So this isn't really gonna look much different to the previous result, uh, but there we go. We have users one through to five, but if I come back over to this query place and I set the offset equal to five, this is gonna skip the first five results and then select the next five results. So we should have users six through to 10. So let's click go. Uh, and yeah, that's exactly what we got, right? We've got users six through to 10 uh, because we skipped the first five results with the offset uh, value set over here. Uh, so now that we know how to do that, obviously it's quite easy to select the last five results or uh, numbers 11 through to 15 by just setting an offset value of 10 over here. And that's gonna skip the first 10 results. And this will select five results uh, starting from the 10th one or starting from the 11th one actually. So let's click go. And there we go. We have users 11 through to 15. Uh, so yeah, you can play around with that. And in fact, uh, there's actually a shortcut. Um, so instead of uh, typing the word offset, you can actually just remove that completely uh, and then add in a comma over here. Uh, but uh, what this comma means is that this is our limit and this is our offset. I don't know who created this, uh, this shortcut, but yeah, uh, it's kind of confusing because you're specifying the word limit but this value actually sets our limits. So let's limit it to five results. And um, 
this value actually sets our offset. So let's have an offset of uh, two. And what that means is we're gonna skip the first two results and then show the next five results uh, coming after that. So let's click go. And uh, yeah, we've skipped users one and two, and now we are selecting everything from user number three to user number seven. So everybody from Cebu to Jackie Chan. And I'd encourage you to run this query a couple of times. So um, yeah, I'd encourage you to just play around with this and practice this a little bit because the more of these queries you play around with and the more queries you run, obviously the better it is that you will understand them. So yeah, just play around with them a bit and uh, yeah. Uh, you'll get the picture, right? So something else I want to talk to you guys about other than limiting and offset is actually the order by class or the order by uh, value. So let's limit this by uh, 10, but instead of working with an offset, I'm gonna set an order by value. So let's say order by, um, and when you do this, you actually have to set a field that you wanna order this by. So you can order it by username, password, or any one of these fields. Um, so I'm going to order by the ID. And I think by default, this is gonna order them in an ascending order, which is literally gonna show us the exact same thing we've been looking at. So order by ID you have an error. Okay, I think order by actually comes before limit. And that was my error. So let's copy this and try again. And there we go, right? Uh, we have select everything from users, we've ordered them by the ID, and we've limited it to 10 results. Now by default, uh, it would order them in ascending order. So ascending order is starting from the lowest number going up. And that is one through to 10 but I can completely change the order of this by um, ordering by ID, but setting the value to descending. And so that should completely switch the order of my uh, results. So let's click go. And now you can see that I've actually selected the results from the back of my table. So I've started with number 15 and we've gone down to number six, right, or uh, user ID six. So if you ever want to search from the back of the table, then yeah, that's basically how you do it, right? You set an order by, and you find the value that you wanna order it by, and then set that to descending. And uh, that can be really useful, especially if you're not working with the ID. Let's say you wanted to order by the user's uh, first name, in a descending order, we should now have everybody who has a uh, name starting from Z uh, or you know, uh, from the end of the alphabet backwards. So let's go here. And uh, yeah, you can see we've ordered this by our first name. So that's this column, um, starting with S, S, R, R, Q, M. Yeah, so basically we're going backwards down the alphabet. So it's worth mentioning at this point that the IDs are all out of order. Uh, and that's because we're not ordering by the ID anymore. And this is the first time we haven't ordered by ID. We're actually going off by the people's names over here. So yeah, that is how you use the limit order and offset va uh, values in MySQL. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. But before I end the video off, so just before I end off this tutorial, I wanna send a huge thanks to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. Dev Mountain is a coding bootcamp that will teach you everything you need to know to become a web developer within 12 weeks. So if you guys are looking at becoming a web developer, a UX designer, or an iOS developer, I know that sometimes teaching yourself how to code is a little bit time consuming and maybe a little bit difficult. Uh, but if you go over to a bootcamp like uh, Dev Mountain, then you can speed up that process a little bit and become a web developer or an iOS developer even sooner than you expected. The link to their website is in the video description below. So go ahead and take a look at their website. And if you do contact them, make sure to tell them that Quinton sent you. I do want to send a special thanks to all of these guys over here. So these guys contribute $5 or more on Patreon every month, which goes a long way to helping me make more videos more often. So if you guys wanna see some more videos uh, and you like the videos that I create, it is worth considering becoming a patron and 
Uh, that is all I have for you guys in this video. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, and share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys in the next one.